This video is going to show my attempt at creating an LED shadow line on the Delta Cruiser. I noticed that this is empty. It's blank. There's nothing there. I don't know why Delta even bothered putting the part on there. Um, I noticed similarities to the DeWalt handle and the DeWalt shield. I measured the DeWalt LED work light. It does not fit. It is not a direct fit onto this. The spacing is different for the mounting screws. So I decided to take this off, take a look at it, and see if I couldn't just put LEDs in it myself. And I did, and uh, I'll show you how I did it and what the result is. So I needed some space to put a power converter. I needed to get from 120 volts AC to about 5 volts DC. And there's actually a nice amount of space in the handle that could be used for one of these. And this is a very small um, power converter. It does the job exactly what I want it to do, no more, no less. And it fits very nicely inside the handle. Takes 120 volts AC in, and you get 5 volts DC out. And the, like I said, the dimensions are just about perfect for this. So the LEDs um, got them, got the Adafruit Super Bright LEDs. Um, I got these at a local store. They were marked up to $9. And if you don't go to Adafruit, you're probably going to find them marked up. So it's probably best to just go right to Adafruit and get, get these if you're going to use these. These are what I used. So I needed to figure out how to size the resistor. You have to put a resistor um, in series with these LEDs. So I looked up the specs, and the recommended current is 10 to 20 milliamps. So I found a calculator online, put the specs in, 5 volt power supply, 3, volt for, three volts um, rated LED, 10 milliamps. It came up with a 100 ohm resistor. And this calculator was nice because it actually accounted for having two LEDs in parallel and that's what I wanted to do because I want to have one LED on each side of the saw blade. So here I am soldering it up. I use some good 18 gauge wire that's insulated. This is what it looks like. You've got two LEDs in parallel. The longer lead goes to the positive. I put the resistor on the negative. Um, got everything kind of shrink tubed up so we have no short circuits. And then I needed to figure out how I was going to switch it on and off. I did not want to cut into the saw. I did not, and I did not. So what I'm showing you is a, a, a very um, low damage or low destruction method of of kind of tapping this into what's existing without cutting wires, um, without splicing anything from the factory, um, without taking a Dremel to this. Um, I did drill a couple of holes into the uh, LED holder, but there wasn't anything in there anyway. So I was able to feed the wire into the existing cutouts and uh, I did not have to cut anything on the handle. Uh, the handle is basically, you know, f as it was from the factory. Um, so I'm just fastening the LED holder on. Okay, so now I'm splicing in the power supply. The power supply is all wrapped in black tape. And then I'm going to route everything in there. And, and there's a nice amount of room in here for this. It, it fits in there nicely. It's not smashed in there. 
Um, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't bulge the handle out or anything like that. So it's, it's, it's actually a very good fit. Um, so then we're, what, what we're going to do is run the uh, 120 volt hot to the power switch rather than cutting a hole and making another switch for the LED. I, I just didn't want to do that. Um, I did not have to take off that top terminal connector. It, you only need the bottom one. And that switch, by the way, is, is like a standard Black & Decker part. I know it looks to be the same thing on the DeWalt's. It seems to be a very widely used switch um, in these saws. And so we'll put it back together. I was very eager to test this and just see if it works. And um, now I needed a way to splice the neutral, and I did not want to cut any wire. So what I did was I just bared the end of the wire here of the 18 gauge, and I pushed it in underneath of the uh, insulating boot on the uh, blade connector there for the plug and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to push the 18 gauge wire and the blade into the uh, socket of the of the connector there and it all fit in there very nicely it was a good fit um, it, it worked better than I thought it would I thought I might have to splay something but I, I did not so none of the factory wiring was changed it all fit in there very nicely. Okay, so let's get it put back together and let's see what we've got. Get the handle put back together. Careful not to over torque and strip anything out. And all right, let's see what we got. So what I had to do was take it back apart and I had to pull the wire out this way um, because I needed to pull the LEDs out more um, because they weren't aimed right. When I had originally put that piece into drill press and drilled the exact size metric holes for the LEDs, they just weren't pointing, they were pointing too far out. So I had to re-drill at that angle and then pull the LEDs through and then there's hot glue inside of there that kind of holds everything and uh, you know the LEDs are they don't they don't shake they don't vibrate um, it, it'll be okay I was besides I was just eager to test this just to see if as a proof of concept if this was even going to work and if it was going to produce a decent shadow line and uh, the good thing is, is that the guard does protect the LEDs. So I'm not worried about the LEDs getting bumped or banged or pulled out. And, you know, there's not really any electrical risk. It's just five volts DC, but still it's, you don't want to have that get all beat up. So that worked out. All right, so let's take a look at the shadow line and see what we have. Okay, and it does create a shadow line. It's it's pretty good. I, I was hoping for a little better. Um, the LED closest to the front to our side is a little misaimed, and I I you know played with the aim of the LEDs a little bit, and it got maybe a little bit better. But you know it is what it is, and. Um, what I think I might do is actually add either two more LEDs, one more on each side, maybe maybe just add a third right in the middle. I'm not sure yet, but I'm pretty sure that I'm not done with this project and that I want to see if I can't maybe get two more LEDs on each side and brighten up that shadow. Well, if you were thinking about doing something like this, I hope this helped or you found it interesting. Uh, please subscribe and thank you for watching.